One very commonly seen type of market structure is the monopolistic competition. So monopolistic competition can be exemplified through industries such as um, sports shoes, toiletries, toothpaste, computer softwares, or breakfast cereals. So today I'm going to use the example of two toothpaste brands to illustrate the char characteristics of a monopolistic industry. As you can see, there are many, many types of different brands of um, of toothpaste, so uh, so there are many competitors in this market. Entry into this market is quite easy because you can you only need to start producing a product and then start selling it. The problem with this is that each firm has very little control over the market price. For example, for these um, sensitive toothpastes, um, the price is around the uh, thirty something forty dollars, and another range of toothpaste is. Um, relief toothpaste where it's around $20 to $30 and still more types are around $20 to $30 and these they're, they're quite similar in price. Although prices are close to the market price, there is some variation as you can see and this is caused by the differentiation between each product. Um, each of the toothpaste is slightly different. So for example, this type of toothpaste is sensitive for gum protection, and this one um, protects NML. So the slight differences in prices are led to by these little differences in the products. These competitive strategies include non-price non competitions. Um, so these are usually advertisements and or free gifts or um, extra extra amounts. So for example. This kind of toothpaste promises um, an extra 25% and, um, and this type comes with a free gift which is attached to the, so this is the free gift attached to the, oh, the original. In the long run, there is zero economic profit because firms that make an economic profit in the short run will break even in the long run because the demand will decrease as more firms emerge. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Monopoly. So, as you can see, this is Cafe Lithium. So, the industry here is um, food and HIS, and not only Cafe Lithium, but also um, the, the noodle shop and also the food in the cafeteria is provided by Chartwells. So, they're the only firm in HIS that provides food, and there are no competitors because no other um, companies are allowed to sell food in HIS. So, the ease of entry is very, very Customers will have to take it. And they sell differentiated goods. As you can see, they have different types of desserts here and also drinks. And um, they don't need to advertise at all because there are no competitors, so they don't need to make ads to um, attract customers. And they're the only one um, making long term economic profit.
For example, actual good is the same, but non-price strategies make the good seem differentiated. Um, for pricing strategies, they set price selections collectively. As for non-price competition, um, they, they may use average